Hey, I'm Dorian. This is Ashley. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five shirts every man should own. And it's five, right, Ash? It's five. I'm there, excited. <laughs> there is an alternate one we'll talk about at the end that is a little controversial, but take it from a pro. She'll tell you the reasons why you should or shouldn't have it. Yep. So let's get into it. The first one is a white dress shirt. Every man should have this, right? Oh Ash? yes, there is nothing sexier, more handsome, more flattering than a crisp white dress shirt. It, you, it will go with absolutely everything you could possibly wear. It's a neutral item. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. It is beautiful. It works for you. And I just think it's one of those items that you absolutely should have out of every other color out there. A white dress shirt you need. We've done an article and video about every single one of these items we're gonna talk about in very, very, very specific detail. Check it out in the links below. We'll stop saying that from now on, but just know there is a whole other video or videos about each of these items. So links below. Number two, an Oxford button down dress shirt in either blue or white. Honestly, you should get both white and blue, I um, would say. But an Oxford dress shirt, it's just a great way to be able to have a more casual dress down outfit. It, it's, you know, you just can have the sleeves rolled up, tucked or untucked with a pair of jeans or some chinos. It's just a really sharp alternative to just a t-shirt and jeans. It's like a dressy casual version, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, business it's casual. Dressy I would casual say. shirt, yeah. Has yep. a button down collars. It's flattering on everyone. And it's just one of those items that you should definitely have in your closet for a just stylish outfit. You're round. And the third shirt every man should own is a black t-shirt. Black. Right? Yes. Okay. And the reason why black is because it's flattering on every body type, especially if, you know, maybe you got some problem areas. It'll help hide those areas, but you can dress up a black t-shirt or dress it down. So when I say like dress it up, I mean you can wear it with a sport coat or with one of your cool bomber jackets or even underneath a suit to dress down a suit. Um, and then it also just looks great on its own with some jeans with a Harrington jacket thrown over it and some sneakers. So it's just one of those items that I would say for if you want to just get a t-shirt and you're trying to figure out what color to get, definitely have black, then you can expand outside of those colors. That color, actually that one color. <laughs> and the fourth shirt every man should own, but before we do that, if you're liking this video, give it, give a, it thumbs a thumbs up. up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and click the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. Uh, Ash, the fourth shirt I think and you think as well, every man should own, is a chambray shirt. What is that first? Define it for the audience. Okay, so a chambray shirt is very similar to a denim shirt. So it looks like a denim -y material, but it's not a denim shirt. It's a lighter weight denim looking very comfortable. fabric. Very comfortable. Yeah. So chambray shirt, the reason why I have it as a shirt that you should definitely have in your closet is because any body type can wear it, any age, can wear it, and it's just one of those items that instantly makes your outfit a little bit more stylish. So you can wear it with a casual jacket, a sport coat, a suit, and it just looks so cool and just just very modern. And so that's why I think it's one of those items you should have. I would say in terms of the chambray color, go darker versus lighter. Um, Darker is going to be flattering on everyone. If you start to go lighter, like a medium wash to light wash, you really need to know what you're doing. Um, so definitely darker chambray shirt. Links below. And the last and final shirt you should definitely have in your closet, every man should own, is a solid color polo shirt. So with polo shirts, I'm a little nitpicky. 
If you are a bigger gentleman, someone that, you know, is broader, maybe has a little belly, maybe a little, you know, softness in the chest area, <laughs> that's how I'll put it, um, you want to go with a PK cotton fabric. It's that textured fabric because what it's going to do is help mattify your torso so it'll make you look a little bit more in shape, a little slimmer. You said it before, it's almost like it has like an airbrushing effect, yeah. right? Yeah. Yep, exactly. And then for if you have just a regular build or you're super in shape or skinny, you can go with a cotton um, or some kind of cotton blend, silk blend uh, polo shirt. So that's like a, I love like a good Pima cotton polo shirt. Uh, H&M, a couple of other brands make my favorite polo shirts. We'll list them all in the description below, but definitely a solid color polo shirt in navy, black, and a good charcoal color will keep you covered, will go with everything in your ward existing wardrobe, and will look really sharp. It's just an easy way that, that you can look stylish, but comfortable and casual. And it works for every age. That's the best part. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.